Everything I've loved in this world And even the curse that fell on me too Hello everybody! Infernape Shinjo here, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm finally getting back on track even though I recorded the Zexal one after the seventh one, but anyway, I'm finally getting back in order and now I'm going to tackle 10 duels in Arc 5 that should have happened. Now this one is a little bit trickier because I know for a fact that I watched Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything's video about 10 duels in Arc 5 that should have happened when it was just finishing up. But I tried to make my list different enough, so, so if a couple of slots are the same as his, that's just purely either coincidental or that I agree that it should have been a duel that would happen. And with Arc 5, see it's weird because with these two that I have to finish up, Arc 5 and Vrains, they're kind of the opposites. Arc 5 has so many characters to work with, so because of that I excluded any of the characters that are counterparts like the new version of Kite, the new version of Jack Atlas. I excluded all of them because it just makes more sense to focus on the Arc 5 characters as a whole. But with Reigns, there are so little characters that get development, but I'll talk about Reigns in that Reigns video. But for now, let's get started with this and just like the last couple, these are in no particular order. First one! Selena versus Yuri. Now it's weird because I watched Arc 5 half dubbed and half sub, so I still want to call her Serena even though her dub is Selena, but I'll probably just interchange them in the video. So this one 100% should have happened. They're the bracelet and you boy counterparts from the fusion dimension. They had really no interaction like Yugo and whatever the Synchro Girl counterpart, they had connection. Obviously, Yuya and Zuzu did. And you could just list off the XCs one because I can't be bothered to remember. The fact that these two characters had no real interaction, it's just kind of weird. And a duel between these two just makes a lot of sense. That's really the only logic that I have for this. You're going to notice a lot of these are chests bracelet girl or you boy duels that should have happened what's up next because i wouldn't be surprised like i just said another duel that 100 percent should have happened between bracelet girl or you boys selena versus zuzu now i don't remember early arc 5 but i do remember that they essentially got along as friends pretty quickly i know that they like did the whole switcheroo outfit thing or something or whatever. I can't remember why or how or whatever. But the fact that you had rivalries in the U-Boys where Yugo and Yuto dueled and even Yuri and Yugo dueled, it makes perfect sense for the Bracelet Girls to duel each other as well. Now granted, they don't have to do something along the lines of what the U-Boys did where they're possessed or something. Just maybe a friendly duel, I don't know. Alright, I'm literally running low on ideas on what I can discuss in each one of these. Maybe this one will give me more to talk about. Oh yeah! Yes, Leo Akaba versus Sora. This might be one that you immediately laugh at because, you know, Leo Akaba, if you've watched Arc 5, you know exactly why that's something to laugh about. But, that's my point. Leo Akaba is somebody that was built up from early Arc 5, and his payoff was just kind of lackluster. And the fact that Sora is a character that was introduced very early on, got that great reveal in a duel versus Shay about him being a villain. So the fact that Sora does kind of turn over a leaf near the second half of the show, only for him to be toppled by Leo Akaba, which he didn't get any wins in the show. So. My main logic for this is just to give Leo Akaba a win because he's just, like I said earlier, just a pathetic villain. That is just a fact. And I couldn't think of anybody else logically to give the loss to besides Sora, but that's it. Alright, I don't remember what order I put these in. What's next? Okay, yeah, so this one is going to take some explaining to do. So. Like I mentioned before, the main logic was for Bracelet Girls and U-Boys to have other duels that they never actually did. 
So initially, I was gonna have this duel be Yuya versus, uh, shoot, what's the name? Rin? Right, Rin. The synchro counterpart to the bracelet girl. But then I realized it makes more sense for him to face Lulu because Lulu is the XC's counterpart. So the fact that she would confront Yuya about this whole thing that happened with Yuto early on in the show where he basically just got sucked inside Yuya. Arc 5 is a weird show. So my first instinct was to have it be Rin. Although I realized with it looking like this, it's kind of like when the bracelet girls were possessed. But basically, I would have been fine if it would have been a duel with Yuya versus either one of these two bracelet girls. I initially had it be Rin, but Lulu makes much more sense because of Yuya's whole interactions that he's had with Shay and Yuto, especially in his main dimension. Oh, what do we got next? Hopefully it's not one involving a bracelet girl. It's involving two bracelet girls. Yeah, there's really no logic that I have behind this other than the fact that the bracelet girls didn't get much duels and conveniently enough I didn't initially plan this but the fact that out of the four bracelet girls I had them duel each other like how I had Selena face Zuzu and Rin face Lulu it just kind of worked out. I didn't initially plan that but yeah basically just like before bracelet girls didn't get enough development I could go on and on about that but you get the idea. Up next we have, oh yes, yes, absolutely. Declan versus Sora. I don't remember much of early arc five. I just remember that Sora is my absolute favorite character in general. So I vaguely remember Sora being like a very good duelist. I don't even remember if Sora actually lost. I think Sora did lose the duel he had against Yuya because of course he did. And then he lost against Shay. But I think with Sora being a relatively good duelist established early on, and Declan being arguably one of the best characters in the show record-wise, having them face off, it just makes perfect sense. You can even have it be a situation where they find out Sora is working for the fusion dimension, Declan's upset about that, and they duel. Even Declan could duel to convince Sora to join their side, rather than Sora just magically changing his mind because Yuya smiled or something like that. I don't know. Look, I never said these were gonna be deep reasons. And up next we have Silvio versus Yuri. I want to say this is in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything video. I'm not sure. I'll probably re-watch it after recording this video just to see how many of them are the same. But, yeah, I, I actually did my research for this video. I looked up all these characters, who they dueled, who they didn't duel, and I just found it weird that Silvio dueled three of the U-Boys, except for Yuri. He faced Yuya, obviously, two times at least, I think. Then he faced Yuto when he used the Monarch deck, and he faced Yugo sometime. I can't remember. So, just the fact that he never faced Yuri out of the four U-Boys is just mind-boggling to me. Why wouldn't you have him face all four? It just doesn't make sense. And, look, I'm not even saying that Silvio is my favorite character or anything. He's just a, an awkward character. He's a fun character, for sure, as far as the English dub performance goes. But, I would at least say to have him duel somebody where... He's just not the one that gets demolished. Because that's a thing that happened a lot with Silvio later on. He just became a joke character. Which, he was already a joke character anyway, but at least have him put up a good fight against these opponents. I don't know how many of these are left. I hope I don't repeat a slide. Okay, I think this is the last one. I'm not exactly sure. Yugo versus Sora. Um, how was it? I don't think it was this one. Yeah, I legitimately came up with this on my own. I thought I had to come up with one more, but I that was another video. But yeah, I don't know why I came up with this duel. It just seemed like a good idea. Actually, since Yugo was one of those ones like fighting for the resistance or something like that, like he was absolutely against, uh, what's his name, Leo Akaba, and Sora was for Leo Akaba, this sort of duel just makes sense. Now, granted, I don't know 
how many duels in Arc 5 in general had a strict synchro user versus a strict fusion user. Because that's the thing with Arc 5. You could have duels where it's synchro versus synchro, synchro versus XCs. Say many of the Yu-Gi-Oh shows do that because they don't employ all the summoning mechanics. But I think the fact that it'll be a synchro user versus a fusion user will be kind of cool. Since Sora already did face an XCs user in Shay. that just makes perfect sense. Okay, I, I don't think I discussed this one yet. No, I did not discuss this one. This one is technically cheating, but I'm counting it anyway. So, Yuri versus Zuzu. Apparently it happened according to Yu-Gi-Oh! Wicca, but I looked it up, and on both of their records, Yuri and Zuzu's, it says no result. I don't remember the specifics of the duel. I just remember that Yuri is walking along a frozen pathway with the giant silhouette of his Starving Venom Fusion Dragon behind him. And then Yugo comes in, Zuzu gets transported to another dimension. So I don't remember exactly what happens, but if the duel is no result, like it says in Yu-Gi-Oh! Wicca, that's just kind of disappointing. Because it just makes perfect sense. Hey, if you wanted to go the extra mile, you could just have two of my duels from this video in that slot. You could have it be Yuri basically back to Zuzu into a corner. She's trying to run and hide. And instead of Yugo popping up, Selena pops up and takes over the duel. Makes perfect sense in my opinion. Apparently I have one more left. I literally don't know how many more slides I have of this. I haven't been keeping track. But, yeah, we have Yuya versus Yugo. I was surprised to see that this duel never actually happened, apparently. If it would have, I wouldn't have included it. Yeah, it's just kind of weird. Although, technically, Yuya never dueled Yuto, did he? I don't think he did. Um, he technically dueled Yuri. I think he was mind-controlled at the time, but he technically dueled him. But I think... Just like how the bracelet girls duel each other in my simulation duels, I think more U-Boy versus U-Boy duels would be interesting. Although, I think it was something like one U-Boy pops into the picture and then the, the bracelet girls vanish or something like that? I can't remember. Hey, crazy idea because I just mentioned it earlier. You go essentially kidnap Zuzu, in a sense, accidentally transports her to the synchro dimension, and... Yuya eventually meets up with her again, blames Yugo for kidnapping her, and they duel. It is not to be a crazy idea, but it's just something that makes a lot of sense in my opinion. But I can confidently say that that is all of the duels that I have in this video. Yeah, essentially what every single one of these duels boils down to is just missed opportunity. I mentioned before about how the bracelet girls didn't get enough duels, the you boys didn't get enough one-on-one -on -one duels. I technically could have included Yugo versus Yuri on this because from what I remember they were starting to duel. It was even shown in the opening but then I think it was like Aster and Kite stepped in and interrupted it and there was like one or two episodes where the duel didn't happen. I don't remember. Arc 5 is a bit of a blur for me, but essentially what everything just boils down to is too many characters, not enough development for any of them. There are probably more duels that I could come up with if I have more than 10, but these are the 10 that I came up with. But if you enjoy, hit that like button down below, subscribe if you haven't, let me know what duels you would have liked to see in Arc 5, and I'll see you next time. Momentai.